guys, welcome back. We are once again in the MCC or Medieval Charter Challenge neighborhood that we've been kind of working on trying to get set up. I have finally finished the next biome, which is the Grasslands biome. Ignore the name of the neighborhood. Um, it's a few different biome. Oh gosh, biomes is a hard word to say. It's a few different ones, but yeah, I'm not really sure what to call it yet. So figured we would kind of check it out and see what's going on here. I'm still missing a few items that I need to download, such as swords and Talos statues, because they're all going to be really into Talos. But for the most part, she done. So you'll notice we've got like these little watchtowers. They're very military oriented. We've got some little uh, windmills there. I don't know. It is, I'm recording this on New Year's Eve because I'm not gonna get to sleep at all tonight because it's a fireworks. So, we have the Jarl over here. That is the Araptus family. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this. I just wanna continue to kind of show you guys how quickly or not so quickly my game is running. This is a limited CC folder. And the idea is to limit the CC. So instead of having, you know, 30 colors of one dress. I've got one, maybe two. Instead of having all of the hair colors, I've got, you know, this braid. Or not all the hair colors, all the hairstyles. I've got like three braids for the grasslands, that kind of thing. And yeah, it's so far it's still running pretty quickly and I have installed more custom content, especially for the grasslands area. I installed a bunch of plants, you know, roughly six outfits for man, uh, God, words are hard. For men and six outfits for women. I haven't installed any new like outerwear or things like that. I'm using what's already downloaded. And I think I downloaded the siding and that was it. So this is the Jarl and his wife. They'll be living on this lot here, which I did show you guys. They do have some like hay here that they'll be growing. They do have a horse that is a functional um, sun and moon horse, so they will have to feed it. I've got you know, chickens, which I think we actually need before I forget. I'm fairly certain that the chickens do need a little coopy thing. So just real quick, real quick, I'm gonna plunk that down because I will forget. Yeah, I think they need one of these. Not positive, but I'm pretty sure. I was gonna put it over here, but then I'm like, you know, the chickens are over here, so it should be over here. Anyway, so this is the, kind of their lot. They've got a really big garden. They're not gonna have to maintain that. I will teleport in like peasant sims to do that. They also have their bee area, a area to hunt and catch rabbits. They have kind of a lot of the different crafting stations because for this particular biome, like it's it, it, you're not idle even though you're a noble like you're still expected to do things it's just more you don't have to do it to survive they also have this special tree here the tree of life and they have this benevolent tr um, benevolent tree spawner which should spawn fun cool things for them because they're supposed to be blessed so the sims that we actually have here are again sims that I made for mostly my different bases challenge I'm pretty sure this is a Jane Seymour know what the other one is but yeah I'm pretty sure this is a version of the Jane Seymour so in this area they have they're using the Rensim Pew skin tones they're using all shades but it's going to be within that skin set they have green eyes they are known to be freckled I do have like a freckled skin box that I'm gonna like body overlay that I'm gonna use so that you know we're not just having freckled faces women have uh, braids they're gonna have blonde hair they also are known for having um, Pointed ears, not all of the Sims were given pointed ears, like she wasn't, but I did give some of them pointed ears. And yeah, so this is, uh, let's go with Marisak Raptus. She is a knowledge Sim, so that should be interesting to have the Earl's wife be a knowledge Sim. Oh, before I forget, green is the color for grasslands. I know I wasn't thinking about it, but it's too late. So yeah, she's knowledge Sim. What does she want to do with her? Max out seven skills? Of course you do. 
and she's also a Capricorn, so she's very lazy. So we'll see if she actually does that. Uh, Nethanel Raptus is her husband. I'm pretty sure he is an Anacleve Sim. Yeah, he's an Anacleve Sim. So he doesn't have as many freckles as his wife, but again, blonde hair, green eyes. I'm pretty sure I gave him pointed ears. The male Sims kind of have chin length hair in this kind of biome. And as per usual, the Jarl and his wife are always going to wear this outfit. It just makes them really easy to identify. Same with the color coding. I just want it when I actually play this neighborhood to go, okay, that's a Jarl. That's a Jarl's wife. And then with the colors, I can go, oh, they're from this area. It might not be as easy to tell what their class is, but you can still tell where they have come from. So he is a pleasure sim. He's also a Capricorn. And he wants to become a game designer. I might re-roll some of these with the custom lifetime ones I know I have installed, but we'll see. So yeah, that's their little lot here. They have a very decent sized house. It's that dark blue with the red on the top. Yeah. A little fancy. A little fancy. I don't know why this makes me laugh when I eee! Also, I really hope my transcript thing is running. I'm trying to find different ways to do subtitles because typing them myself, even though I am a fast typer, I can't always understand what I'm saying. I'm not gonna lie. And I've had this discussion before, but it is very confronting to have to type the way that I speak because I didn't realize and now I'm very self-conscious about it. Anyways, so we're actually going to do a bit of a departure. I think I did the yeoman next, but for this one, the peasants are actually very close by towards, you know, to the Jarl. Because again, defense, these are going to be the, not the weakest links, but a little bit. You can see everybody has cattle. That's a big thing in this neighborhood. Everybody raises cattle for you know, the army. So either for food, for leather working, like it's just the thing you do. And so up first we have the Argyris family, which I'm kind of mad about this dress. I, I made this recolor, I made that recolor too. And it looked, I did the fix in Body Shop so it wouldn't look weird, but in game it does kind of look weird, so I don't know. I do know that these Sims kids are gonna have like the most cheekbony cheekbones to ever cheekbone, because these are both, I think that's an Anacleve Sim, and I don't remember which, that might be Jane Seymour, I can't remember, but yeah, they have cheekbones for days. So we have Kafra first, and their last name Argaris. Like I said, I did do that recolor. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It was just real simple. It was originally red, and I just recolored this part to green. Left that red. Again, we got freckles. That's another common thing here. I'm pretty sure he also has pointed ears. And he has that uh, Keanu hair, which I really love, so I'm glad that I get to use and abuse it. And he's a family sim, which is great. It means he's gonna have lots of kids. He wants to raise 20 puppies or kittens. And he is also a Capricorn. Capricorn, I kept rolling that, I don't know why. His wife, which is, we're gonna go with Macaw. Macaw, mostly because that's real fun to say. She has green eyes, she's blinking, but it's fine. Uh, freckles, again, braided hair, pretty basic. She's a fortune sim. She wants to become city planner. Again, I'm probably gonna re-roll some of these and she's a Virgo. So this is their farm here. All of the peasants are gonna do the same kinds of things. Maybe not all of them will do every single thing. Not all of them have hay, I know that, but for the most part, all of them have bees. All of them have a little garden to sustain themselves. They have chickens and they have cattle and that's kind of, that's what they do. They, that, yeah. And they also are expected to know archery, so they're all gonna have an archery stand. And they're also expected to know how to fight, so they've got one of these fighty guys here. Oh, and they catch rabbits. I think some of them might have gotten box traps too, but I am gonna have to test and make sure they can get to some of these. Otherwise, I'm gonna be needing to play some walkthrough blocks. But this is their farm. You can see it's pretty small. Comparatively speaking, I think it's actually the smallest peasant farm. That one might be smaller. But yeah, it's one of the smaller farms, just because, you know, there are a couple, they're just starting out, it didn't need to be giant anyways. I would call this a two-bedroom, two-bath, but yeah. So that is the Argus family. Let's go back. 
I love how fast this neighborhood loads though. Like it started to load a little bit slower because again, I'm adding more and more things to it, but it's, it's, it's not like my other folder, which takes, I want to say being generous, 35 to 40 minutes, sometimes a little bit longer. I never actually timed it because usually I open it up and I go do something else. But yeah, it's just, it's so nice. It loads so quickly. So let's go to the Floros family. This is our second set of peasants. I also recolored both of those. I didn't do the whole thing. A lot of these recolors that I did, because for the, for the men I decided on like tunics and maybe they have pants, maybe they don't. And then for the women, it was kind of Renaissance style clothing. So like I found a set based on the movie Ever After. There was a lot of really good Renaissance clothes. There was some like uh, Lucrezia Borgia clothes. I'm not entirely sure which ones I ended up using. I actually had to get rid of some because I had too many options. But as per usual, we're all in green. I'm really happy with the recolors for the most part. Like they're not great, but like they're okay. Like I just recolored this dress part. I didn't, the banding was there, that white part was there. I just did the dress. All right, so let's start with Gabriel is what we're going to go with there. Gabriel. He's got kind of a sad bitch face. I know he is a Jane Seymour Sim gender swap to be male. Again, Rinse and Pew skin. He doesn't have freckles, but he does have teeny tiny points in his ears. Just teeny tinies. So yeah, but yeah, that mouth was... On the female Sim, it wasn't so bad, but on the male Sim, it got kind of out of hand. He is a family Sim. Also has raised 20 puppies or kittens. Like I said, I'm probably gonna re-roll these, but I'm just going over it for fun. Virgo, I did recolor this tunic. I don't think it turned out terribly. Probably could have been done better, but I was just, just needed him to wear green. And then his wife is, we're gonna go with Nama. And Nama is actually um, from one of my Henry VIII like genetic challenges with the wives. I believe this one was called Sicily, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, she is a romance sim. She wants to have 20 simultaneous lovers and she is a Libra. I really like her outfit. Like I am happy with this recolor. I think I gave her pointy ears, did I? Nope, no pointy ears. But they have the green farm, which is also again, smaller. Yeah, this is, this is actually the smallest one. They've got a bigger downstairs or bigger living area, like main living area, but small bedroom and one bath. I decided to change the color of their cattle so they specifically have these dark kind of black almost highland cows, whereas these guys have multicolor and I think, yeah, they have some reddish ones. Theirs are dark brown. Theirs are mixed. They have the only white one though. And then theirs are painted. So I. Again, little changes, not a huge thing, just to change up what's going on to make it more visually interesting. You can see the palette thing in action, whereas this is the same exact house. Oh no, that, sorry, that was with my, the almond, but I still did a similar thing where I set down the same plants. Like you're gonna recognize the plants that I used because they're all the same. They don't have as many chickens. They have their little garden. They got a fire pit. Oh, and everybody's got one of these too, to collect water. They got a fire pit though. Their archery station is just hay bales. So they're probably a little bit more poor, I would say, than their neighbors. Oh, 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 oh. is why is there a what is this what is what is this what is this I don't know what this is no oh it's the okay so sometimes this bathing instinct things it shows up as blue I, I don't know and you get up close and it's fine but it's fine it's fine it's fine so yeah, that is the second peasant family. I'm not gonna save because it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna go over to the Yaman family. 
I really had a lot of fun with the grasslands. I can't wait to put in the little altars they're gonna have to Talos inside their houses. Everyone's gonna have one again. I just, I think they're very different than the rest of the areas. Like, I like that they're all kind of unique and a place unto themselves. Like, you can distinctly tell where you're at. I've got birds too that fly by. So yeah, this is actually where the Yaman merchants are, where I was talking about like the pallets and while they're basically identical, but little differences. These are all six of them together, I believe. Yeah, this is the one that I recorded. But the only one that's currently occupied is this one, which is the Metoxis family. So let's check them out. I also recolored this female dress and it also is a little wonky looking once, I don't know why, like in Body Shop it looked fine. I did the fix. It's just, be it spiteful, I don't know. I love this, the female hair though. I believe it's called Star Tide. I don't know who made it. And the male hair I believe is the Jamie hair. Yeah, I, I'm very excited about just their general aesthetic. It's just, it's, it's good, it's, it's solid. So yeah, we're gonna check him out. This is Amiel Metaxas. Are you gonna, can you not be yawn in place? Can, can you, can you just, can you just? Okay, okay, yeah, we're gonna take that. So he is another Jane Seymour Sim, obviously gender swapped to be male. I'm pretty sure he has pointed ears, but who knows, it's a mystery. He's a fortune sim, looks like we want to earn 100k, we can definitely do that, and he is an Aries. And then his wife, I'm not sure, oh she also was a genetic challenge sim, I believe she was Sicily? I don't remember, she's, she's one of them, she had a birthmark, I remember that. So this is Rivqua, she is a pleasure sim celebrity chef wannabe and another Capricorn. A lot of Capricorns in this area but yeah look at the dress. So the top part actually doesn't look too bad but it just it distorted a little bit. Yeah, maybe not as bad. I can see circles down there but yeah. I recolored this one mostly just the green parts. The rest was left including the trim that was already there. I think it looks okay. It's not perfect. I wasn't sure what to do with these green bits. They were teal on the original dress. It was yellow with teal but sure about the dark green. It'll be fine for now. But this is their kind of setup. They're gonna be butchers. I figured for the first Yaman family that was kind of the best option to go with versus some of the other ones because every single peasant family has cattle. So they're gonna probably have spares that can be butchered. They have their archery set up because they're a higher class. They're also expected to run the obstacle course but also fight the little dude. And then through here you can see they've got the hunting spawners, the rabbits, that's where their trash thing is. They've got their little dark brand dog. And where's the horse? Where's the horse? Oh, it's over here. They got a gray horse. Most of these families only have one horse. I think the very last one has two, but yeah. They'll just have the one. It's mostly just for practical purposes. Their lot is not very complicated. I actually didn't put as many plants on theirs as some of the other ones. On the other ones, I kind of, I got a little crazy, a little, a little, did a little much, but yeah. I haven't done the interiors, as you can see. I did, I threw a couple things in there. I have not done the interiors of these specific lots because I wanted to make sure that I did them in a way that wasn't uniform to make up for the fact that the exterior is. I don't know what happened to your plants? There were plants here. I don't know. I'll, I'll replace plants there. So yeah, this is the grasslands area, and these are our grassland sims. I've mentioned it before, there are going to be seven total biomes. I'm going to start pushing to get them done a little bit quicker. I don't know when I'm going to start this neighborhood. I still have to finish the different faces challenge, which is Catherine Parr's the only one we have left. Then do the genetic challenge portion of that, and then that's done. I don't know if I'm going to continue making other like versions, like maybe all the different versions of Mary Queen of Scots, that kind of thing. Like. I don't know, probably not, but I could, so I'm not gonna rule it out. And then I've also got the Unlocking the Uberhood Challenge and the Medieval Color Legacy Challenge, so I don't wanna really pick up too much more, but I also really wanna play this, so we'll see. 
I'm not sure which biome I'm going to pick up next. You know, I've got one here. I'm not going to click them because, no, you don't get a no. But there's two here. And then there's a few more on the mainland as well. I'm trying to remember. Again, it just it loads so quickly. I cannot recommend enough trying some sort of neighborhood with a limited CC folder. Maybe not for everything, because obviously, especially when you want to decorate and get real crazy, like, you can't do that. But just to have a neighborhood you can play in is, it's going to be so nice. Yeah, I wanted to go to this, just again, show you, it's a little bit longer, but not quite at the level of my other one. It, it helps if it responds too. So yeah, we have our, um, gosh, Dry Coast is on the main neighborhood, and then there's two here. You can tell there is, I've been getting a lot of the bigger ones out of the way, but there are small, that, that would be considered a very small biome. Pretty sure that's a, another large one. And then we have, well, spoiler alert, you know about the desert, desert, but you didn't know about the tundra. Whatevs, it doesn't matter. The, the biomes aren't that special. <laughs> I'm just more having fun being super secretive. I actually changed the outfits that I was going to do for this one. Instead of tunics, they were going to be um, long leg wizardy robes, but that didn't make sense with like the whole military aesthetic that I was going for, so that's why I changed it. Yay! And as you can see, I fixed my desert roads. I'm very excited about it. I know these still look kind of weird, but I'm still really happy with them. Like. I think it looks good. This is the only one here though. Cause like, I just couldn't find a way to combine the desert with anything else. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are still enjoying these. It is now 2023 and we are hopefully gonna start this neighborhood. I'm shooting for May. Cause like I said, I gotta make a lot more biomes. That involves getting the Sims in the neighborhood, making custom clothing for all of them it's a little bit much sometimes so may is when i'm hoping to start this neighborhood because i also have to assign them some things from the medieval charter challenge and things like that but yeah should be fun so thank you guys again so much for watching i'm having so much fun still with this channel and just with interacting with people and yeah i will see you in the next one